track wrestling here in Fresno, California, women's freestyle world team training camp with world team member Jakara Winchester. You had one of the big wins of Final X, uh, opening weekend, you took out Becca Leathers and two straight world bronze medalists. What kind of confidence do you derive from winning that series in two straight? Um, well, I always thought that I was a great wrestler, you know, and I think other people didn't know that, so they called it an upset, you know, because she's a world bronze medalist. But I plan on being a world champion, so I think you have to, like, take that into consideration of she's just somebody that I have to beat, you know. I want to get do better than getting bronze. So, I mean, just beating her just kind of brought a lot of confidence because it's like, well, she plays third in the world, you know. And it was, like, not really a tough, tough match for me, but it was kind of like it wasn't didn't come down to last, like, one point, you know. It was like... I played my position well, like I controlled the hand position and I think if I can if I can beat somebody like that that's ranked in the world, then I for sure can be a world champion. You start uh, looking back at that series when it happens, I'm sure, in, in June, and then looking forward to October in Budapest. What are things that uh, immediately you felt like you need to work on to become a world champion this year? I think uh, the biggest thing is just not wanting to win, wanting to dominate, you know, not wanting to just be satisfied with, okay, I won this match 3-2 or 1-1, you know, I want to go into the world and dominate on everybody. You felt like people kind of forgot about you a little bit, right? I mean, that was one of the messages that uh, I think you talked about out in, in Lincoln that, yeah, uh, through yeah. the, the past few years. Can you explain everything that you went through? in trying to make this team? Well, it's been a while. So this is the first time I've made the team, and I've been wrestling since 2000. Well, I started in 2008. So I've been trying for the last, I think, four years to make this team, and it never came through for me. You know, I wasn't doing the right things, which I think is what attribute to it. I would always get third. I'd always make national team, but that's not what I wanted. You know, I wanted to make the world team, but it didn't quite happen for me. And I think the last, um, the last cycle of the Olympics really made me see that I tore my ACL right before Olympic year so I didn't get to try for Olympic trials or anything and after that injury I just had a different perspective like I needed to go you know like I couldn't wait for anything like time was too short I might not make it to 2024 which is my goal you know and so I really just had to pick it up and start doing everything right you missed away a year ago at, yes. at the trials yes how close were you? What happened? Oh, what did you goodness. change? Okay, so I was in college still, which was another thing. Like, I didn't really, not that I didn't take it serious, it was just that I had finals, I had all this other stuff, which now I think back and I think they're excuses, you know, because if you really want something, you'll find a way to make it happen, you know? And I was complete. I didn't die in. That's what I wasn't doing right the whole time. Like, I was in good condition and stuff, but my diet was very poor because I was eating in the cafeteria and stuff like that. And so when I got to Vegas for the uh, for the World Team Trials, I was supposed to be 55 kilos, but I'm pretty sure I was three pounds over. But like hours before, and I had worked out for two hours already, and I could not lose anything. Like there was just nothing left to go. And I thought about it, and I was like, all right, well, I can either try my best and maybe pass out and make this weight and then wrestle like crap you know or I can just bump up and just try to make the world team at 58 you know I think I was at that point I was okay with just being on national team like I had already gave up on making the world team and then so after that I saw Becca Leathers make the team and I was like wow man I really just lost my spot on the world team you know because I knew that I could beat Becca and so the whole next year I started training really hard. I changed my diet since that was clearly the biggest part in which made me not make the team because I didn't make the weight so I couldn't even try. So I changed my diet and I changed my conditioning and lifting program and everything just came out good. And then at Final X I felt great. I had already won the US Open. I had won World Team Trials, you know, and I think the in-between part for the U.S. Open, I had won my finals match 5-3, to three, and I really 
felt like that was an important match because I couldn't, if I wanted to dominate and beat Becca, I couldn't be losing to somebody else five to three. You know, I had to pick it up. So the next, the World Team Trials, I wrestled the same girl and I teched her both. So I felt confidence from that. So I liked that the how the process went for Final X because at first I didn't like it because I thought, well, Becca Levitz gets to sit out. She doesn't have to wrestle, you know? And I have to wrestle all these. I have to make 55, like, four times. But that was good for me because then I was able to really lock in my diet and see what I could eat and what I could eat and know what how much I lose from this practice. You know, it really helped me know myself better. What do you eat now that you don't before? What do you not eat now that you did before? I don't drink soda now. I drink carbonated water, which is so good because it almost tastes like soda, but it's disgusting. And um, I drink a lot of water. I have a lot of salads, but when it gets closer to my end, before I eat a lot of salads closer to it, but when I get closer, like a week out, I do a fiber cut, so I just have smoothies now, you know? So it flushes everything out of my like stomach that just sits there usually, and it gets rid of like a kilo and a kilo and a half. So I can always account for the week of I'll be down a kilo and a half, you know, so I can put that in my diet. And I also, I put a lot of ranch on everything I need, so I cut back on the ranch. And just uh, the Olympic Training Center has like nutritionists and stuff, and they really help me. They do like skin photo tests and see how lean I can be at certain weights and what weight I should be weeks out and stuff, so that also helps. How much better do you feel when you're out there now? How much do you feel oh like your conditioning hit level has changed? Yeah, it, it's changed tremendously. Like now, I before I'd always be tired in the match, you know? Like even the first 30 seconds, I feel like I'm, I was just strained all the time. But now I feel like I can wrestle forever. I don't think that there's anybody that's going to out-wrestle me just because I know that I've worked hard. Like I've dieted right. I'm not tired at all, you know? I have energy to do stuff. So I think it's made a world of difference like it's night and day how did wrestling how did you get into wrestling how did this journey begin for you well um i used to do cross country and track and i wanted to do a sport that you didn't have to try out for and since i was from oakland california i was always not in trouble but i used to fight a lot and get suspended so i figured why not do a sport that you can beat somebody up and get glorified for, <laughs> you know? I'm not a bully, but I also don't like people bullying me, you know? And so I was, it was a good way to get out my aggression, you know? And I didn't want to run anymore. And I was like, well, I'm kind of scared of rejection, so I don't want to try out for basketball or soccer, because if I don't make the team, I'm going to be devastated. So the next thing, it was either between bad bidding and wrestling. So I chose wrestling. What has this sport done for you? Uh, it's changed me into a different person. Like now, I know the difference between fighting on the street and wrestling. You know, like now, I don't give people the time of day on the street. It taught me, like, I know I can beat them up, so just let it go because, you know, I'm a bigger person. You know, it's taught me life lessons, discipline myself because for wrestling, I like it because it makes me want to be a better person. It makes me want to be the best version of myself. Like, I completely changed my lifestyle, my dieting, and everything. And I feel great, you know? And I feel great as a person because I know that if I put my mind to something, I actually can do it, and it shows results.